but, okay, I'll, I will tell you this. It was it was like 15 of us in one house, in a three bedroom house. Mm. And it was like three beds. So you tell me, you know, it's rough, you know what I mean? And we were sleeping on beds that's on blocks. You know, beds that's on blocks. When we get up in the morning, if we eat breakfast, we're not sure about lunch, we're not sure about dinner. Going to school was, was a task because there was no one there to provide for you every day to say, hey, here is some money to go to school. Here is, is this to pay your, your way through school. There was, no, there was no opportunity like that. It was hard, you know, it was hard even getting up and knowing where you're going to sleep the next night because you don't want to go into the same bed where four or five of you got to sleep on. You know, it's, un it's uncomfortable, you know. I've known Specialist Power um, a little over a year, like, like 15 months. He's a hard worker. He he always strives to bring others up around him. When I first met him, he was a PFC, but he always took charge in in the absence of uh, any NCOs. He he always led in PT. He's he's a strong cadence caller, even at a when he was at the, the rank of a PFC. In the army, it's, it's diverse because you have different people from different nations of different parts of the world coming here to join this army and you know you're not going to get along with everyone that you meet you're not going to be friends with everyone you meet you're not going to be buddy buddy with everyone that you meet it's just what you make of it you know what i mean you got to learn to separate your job your yeah. friends and you know your, your personal life from from all of this he's very he's very loyal very very disciplined he if if you give him a task he, he's going to stick to it and um he, he doesn't need much guidance he, he's always been able to take charge. I got, I got an article 15, but I didn't let it get me done because I've seen people come here and get article 15 and get chaptered out, but that's just a learning process. You getting a ch an article 15 is not the end of the world. It's not the end of your military career. You know, it depends on what you do. Understand? So, you know, I bounced back from it, you know, I learned from it. I use it as a stepping stone. I use it as a platform to build on and to build on and to build on and to build on.